Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the beginnings of science in my career mode save. Um, in the last episode, you'll recall that we had started our solar probe on its way out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. Well, today I decided that we are go I'm going to do a second moon mission. Mostly because I thought I had enough science at the time to unlock the docking ports I needed, but I don't. So we're going to go back and get the science that we need. Now, we can go ahead and take the Minmus Science Lander. And we don't need a barometer. Let's see. I don't even think we really need these. We only need the one. <clears throat> And we need one more thing. We need a gravioli. Now basically all I'm really doing is I'm going to attempt... Actually, no. I will take two of these. Just in case. I doubt I'll get to two biomes, but this way the ship's nice and balanced. And... I am going to put on a... Oh, that's too big. A Communitron. So I can send back EVA reports and everything. <clears throat> now, I'm actually going to speed up the video to get to MUN. And let's change this to... Ma, oops, Mon Science Lander MK2. Everything else should still relatively be the same. The ladders. And that's really all we have. So, without further ado, we will be at the launch pad and taking off.
Okay, and we are back. And we're about to encounter Mun's SOI. <clears throat> now this is going to be a slightly oblong orbit by the looks of it. Looks to be more of a polar, polar, polar orbit. Spit out the word. And as you can see from the fast forward section of the launch video portion of it, that I did a lot of science during that trip. And that was mostly to make sure I have enough in the ways of making sure I've got almost everything from Kerbin as far as the gravioli. So we'll get ourselves. Oh, oh. Ooh, we might be able to hit. Of course, it's on the dark side, I think. I want to try to aim for the southern crater, which that's not it. It's got to be on the dark side. So for right now, let's go ahead and get our our Midlands, although we already have that one. Go ahead and EVA. We'll take the data. Let's just check and see. Oh, we don't need that. Come back in. We'll speed up a little bit and see if we can't hit another biome. If not, we'll just actually go ahead and get ourselves ready to do this maneuver. Let's circularize. That should be close enough. Now I think I lost a lot of data trying to transmit because I had the lights on absorbing a lot of power. Let's just see if we have any. Well, I thought maybe I could hit a Q container while I was right there, but I guess not. So while we plummet towards Mun's surface. We'll circularize and that'll be it for this video today. The next video will be doing the science around the surface and coming back home. Hopefully in that time. This little craft here will be on its way ready to have its first orbital change in that yeah, orbital change in a the, uh, the Sun area so we'll have to do that and take this guy home so Jebediah doesn't stay on Mun forever I really thought I'd hit another biome before I did this burn But if not, let's see here, where's, it's a 20 second burn, so we need to go down to 10 seconds. Oh, oh, we just hit another one. Let's log gravity data. We're going to EVA out, we're going to take that data. And we're going to not get an EVA report. We're going back inside. Back out here. And oops, we don't want to set Monus. We don't want to set Monus target. We want to come down to Oops, we don't want to do that. 
13 and 11. That should be close enough. Okay, back into time warp. Highland Craters. We'll take that one. Oh. I'm going to EVA him one more time. And. I want all the science. That's close enough. Midlands. Looks like we're all at the highlands here. Highlands and midlands and highland craters. I don't think I have a highlands reading, do I? Nope. Pretty sure the Midlands is where I landed the last time. There we go. Make everybody seasick. Okay. Resource panel open. Actually, no, we're still too high up. Okay. I've had a few other ideas for a couple missions, but it might involve me stranding a Kerbal somewhere. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet or not. I think it'll be funny to have on video though. But we'll have to see first. That's a pretty nice shot right there. In fact, we'll take a picture of it. There we go. Okay. We're almost down to where we need to do our burn. Whoa. Let's see all the craters coming in. Caught me off guard. Just skimming the surface. Ooh, that's real low. <laughs> that is really, really low. That means we're at about 8,000 meters. 9, okay, from the highest point of the surface. Man, that's scary low. But it's all them craters. I'm 
slow our ship down. And stop. 10,000, 12,000. That is good enough for me. While I'm here, we will take a few more of these. MPA out. Whoops. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Take the data. Jump back in. Log data. Take data. Board ship. So, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. It's a little bit less talking this time, more of just doing. But a lot more science in a sped up fashion. So hopefully you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Favorite, subscribe. And until next time, have fun.